Hello and welcome to the Wendell Effect for the week of February 19th. This is Brandon Wendell with you as usual. So we're we'll going to kick this off. Just reminding you, we are not broker dealers or investment advisors. We're going to take a look at this information from an educational standpoint only. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, or hold any particular securities or give any personalized recommendations. There's always risk involved in the markets. We can do what we can to minimize the risk, but we can never eliminate it. And we're not subject to trading restrictions, so we can have a position in a security to initiate one at any time. Uh, please keep in touch with me. Please, uh, if you have any feedback or any questions, you can email me at brandonwendell.cmt at gmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at TraderBW. I'd like to put some updates there as well. And, of course, you can find us on uh, YouTube at The Wendell Effect. Please don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe so that way we can continue to produce these videos for you in the for uh, going forward. So last month, looking at the Nifty, see, uh, pretty much hasn't changed much uh, for the most part, kind of mixed bag there. And it looks like a very choppy sideways market. Looking at the last week, we had a little more weakness in the technology services. Infosys was leading us down, as well as some of the banks. Only two were positive, while the rest were heading to the downside. So it's a little bit of a change. Uh, looking at the Nifty, seasonality-wise, you know, from the 19th of February to March 23rd, usually it's somewhat bearish, as you can tell. You know, we actually usually get a decline of about 3%, but most of that was really done in 2020. So overall, it's relatively flat to slightly bearish that we should expect for a little while. Now, looking at the weekly chart here on the Nifty, I actually started this over the weekend and didn't update it yet. Monday is a down day, so we're starting off with a red candle, but it looked as though we were simply trying to correct. Now, instead, it looks as though this may be a lower high that's forming. So instead of just using the slides here, I can go out to the live chart and take a look at that. Again, going out to the Nifty on the daily time frame, or actually weekly. Oops, go weekly there. And you see that we are now getting a red candle for this week so this may be a peak that we're putting in and it's below 60 on the rsi so that means that this is a lower high which should be followed by a lower low to continue a downtrend for the nifty okay so now we can drop down from the weekly down to the daily and let's see as it switches over there we go you can see that we're actually retreating to the downside after our impulse we've retreated on monday now 50 percent of our preceding impulse up and it looks like it may continue to the downside so we're seeing more weakness coming into the markets rather than bullishness and that's a seasonal play we're also you know we lost momentum we can drop down to the four hour even you can see there's a little bit of possible demand but that's a little bit lower than we're currently sitting after monday's price action looking at about let me clean this up there we are and actually refresh there we are a little bit better. You can see our next area of demand is right around the 17,802 to 17,754. So we do have some more room to the downside potentially here for the Nifty. And that may just provide a small bounce before we continue even lower because we are making lower highs and lower lows. So getting back over to my slides again, we saw that we pinged off of this daily supply and are starting to head to the downside. And I mentioned that 17,800, but also 17,600 is the first projection down the next target down would be 17286 on the downside and we may get there like i said we've got a lack of bullish momentum we have plenty of bearish momentum when we're heading down on the four hour chart really just showing more of the same that's all so looking at some of the individual securities reliance actually jumped off of the lows with a nice little positive divergence but the big key thing here was we retreated 50 percent really to the start of this selling pressure here and we didn't have bullish momentum so we couldn't get into that bullish territory to propel prices higher i expect reliance to continue to push downwards and the first target is 2270 beyond that it looks like i think it's going to be about 2150. so i can take a look at reliance live and see what it's doing as i go over here to stocks there we are reliance industries and you can see that we did actually have some movement to the downside here going into the beginning of this week. So uh, almost a small double top on the four hour. Let's take a look at the daily. Again, we tried to rally, but it's really not happening. We got that weakness and we are pushing down instead. So I expect that to continue. TCS, you can see that looking at the seasonal move from the 12th of February to the mid, actually almost near the end of March, it's actually a bearish time in the market for TCS. Not much. 
again, 0.47, relatively flat. So we've gone through several years of bullish, several years of bearish. It just looks pretty flat this time of year. So looking at the daily chart, you can see we have a double, or not double top, but a uh, ne negative divergence where prices made a higher high, but the indicator made a lower high. That's looking like it's gonna send prices to the downside. And we only retrace about 23.6. We should be able to retrace more this week. I wouldn't be surprised to see us drop all the way to about 33.8750. It's a possibility. So moving on, Infosys started going a little bit choppy, but it should become more bearish as well. We had negative divergence followed with a rally that could not move the RSI above 60. That typically is a sign of a bearish trend getting ready to begin. So if we take a look at the live chart on Infosys, oops, sorry. I can type correctly, there we go. You see that on Monday, we actually had a big topping tail. So as we tried to rally, we failed to be able to close up there and are looking like there's gonna be more selling pressure pushing us downwards rather than upwards. HDFC Bank tried to break out of its sideways range that it's been in, but again, failed to break out to new highs, even though we made higher lows. So I'm likely seeing us pushing back into that sideways range, at least for another couple weeks, unfortunately. Since we're at the top of the range, we may visit that lower end right around 1600 before the end of this week, uh, maybe going into next week. ICICI Bank is retreating a bit to the upside after that big downtrend. However, we again put in a high right here in price without moving into bullish territory. To me, that suggests that prices are going to continue to start to slide this week. And we can go ahead and take a look again at the live chart. And it looks like, well, pretty much the same thing we saw at TCS, that big topping tail there. So again, just looking kind of bearish overall. No, I'm sorry, that was not emphasis. I wanted ICICI Bank. Still in weekend mode. It's a holiday in America, so I apologize. Uh, still been relaxing this weekend. But yeah, you can see there's the selling pressure continuing to the downside, just as I suspected it would be. Uh, we made that peak, couldn't get into bullish territory, and we're still pushing lower. So that's exactly what the charts are telling us. The Nifty Bank Index also relatively bearish this time of year. You can see that, you know, it's really all in 2020, but there's been more bearish years over the last 15 than there's been bullish during this particular month. So I expect more downward pressure on the Nifty Bank as well. We saw it with ICICI Bank, and we can look at a few others. Looking at the weekly chart, we had a kind of a sideways to slightly bearish week. We're just continuing this downtrend and we lost momentum. So I suspect that it's going to continue to push down. On the daily time frame, we did try to bounce after we retraced 38% of the previous impulse, but it looks as if we're going to push down towards 39.118 as our next target, possibly even down to 36.766. That's going to take a little bit of time, though. And again, if we go into the Nifty Bank... Okay, so here we are looking at the daily chart of the Nifty Bank, and you can see already on Monday we continued that downward move, but it was, you know, it was told to us. We're in a downtrend. We have moves to the upside. We can't get bullish. Heck, we couldn't even barely get above 50, let alone 60 on the RSI. That tells you there's very little bullish momentum. We got more downside coming up in this move. So, as I was saying, getting back to the slides, 39,000 is not out of the realm of possibilities. We may not be able to reach it there this week, but we should continue to see more selling pressure continuing in the bank sector. And same thing on the four hour. There was really no demand, nothing to hold us up. We tried to rally, but that was the last week at the, on Friday evening. Basically, it was the buying of the shorts. It was you know covering shorts. It wasn't any kind of a buying pressure. So if we take a look at what happened going into our first trading day of the week, all we did was continue down. Yeah, and that's expected. So expect more downside potential. If you're looking for some short-term targets, if we project to the downside, we can verify this to see if there's any zones that line up with it, but we do have 39.717, 38.320 as a potential downside targets. And we really don't have great demand. I mean, maybe there's something here right around 40,000 where buying pressure we gapped up. So just above this 39.717 projection at 40,000, obviously the uh, 
the, the 10,000 numbers, the whole numbers are big psychological barriers. Might, might get a small bounce there at 40,000, but uh, overall, it's not going to stop the move down. We still have lots of bearish momentum, and I expect that to continue. So play it as such. So for some new trade ideas and follow-ups on ones that we've already been looking at, actually, that's what we're going to be doing, pretty much following up. We've had this ABC Capital daily chart. I've been waiting to get in on the long Finally, we broke out of this wedge formation, but it broke out to the upside and kind of failed. This may be a small double top right now that should take us down towards that 130 for the bounce. On PNB, we, I was waiting for a short opportunity on a rally up to 56.70, but obviously I was also watching this as a giant double top. We failed to break down, but it looks as though we may get our break this week. It's not really a good trade opportunity when we're going to bounce very quickly unless you can find something inside of the daily. Maybe, let's see, go into PNB, maybe on a four-hour time frame. Let's take a look at that. So here's the daily. We go into the four-hour. I'm sorry, this is the four-hour that was on. Let's go down to 60-minute. Maybe there's something there intraday, but... Doesn't really look anything great as far as entries for shorting opportunities because we've already tested them. That was a supply zone right there. It was already tested. So might have to look elsewhere for better opportunities. UCO Bank on the daily chart where uh, hopefully we'll get down in that 2450 range, but RSI is extremely low. So when RSI is below 40, longs are not a good idea. There's too much bearish pressure. So I want to wait for some sort of divergence before I take a long. I need to see some sort of signal there. IOC daily chart unfortunately pushed up right into the supply zone without getting to the entry first, so not an opportunity anymore. In fact, this is what I was talking about. When you are below 40 as you come into a zone, it means that the zone has too much bearish pressure on it for it to hold. And you can see that we had a fake rally that eventually led to new lows. So that's why I had those rules in place. This is now showing more bearish momentum than we had previously. Definitely don't want to go long there, so stay out of that. Again, we're going to see some weakness in those uh, Indian markets now for the next week at least, if not a couple weeks, as you saw, looking at the big picture of the Nifty and the Nifty Bank. So if you got any questions, again, please go ahead and email me, brandonwendell.cmt at gmail.com. If you got any securities you'd like me to look at, go ahead and send those requests in as well. I'd be more than happy to help you out with that. Follow me on Twitter at TraderBDub, and also please again hit subscribe and like for this video. It helps me out a lot. That way I can continue to help you out as well. So until next time, trade safe, trade well, and take care everybody.